pretty much everyone agrees that as of right now, it looks like the Democrats are probably gonna do pretty poorly in the midterm elections. And if you pay attention to politics a lot, you might think, well, it's probably complex. There's probably a lot of places you can place the blame. Promises not made good on, bad statements, you know, politicians not doing the right. No, 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 it's super simple actually. Axios has the answer, it's the squad's fault. Because I found out, as many did, that the squad's politics have backfired. And you should be very angry about them very much in advance of the midterm elections. Uh, Mike Allen tells us that the hard left politics of Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and the so-called squad. You can just say that they're called the squad. Why are you saying so-called? Why are you questioning it's it? so-called and the scare quotes. It's both? <laughs> it's both. It is the squad, you're calling them the squad, Yeah. whatever. Once a dominant theme for vast numbers of elected Democrats is backfiring big time on the party in power, top Democrats tell us. The push to defund the police, rename schools and tear down statues has created a significant obstacle to Democrats keeping control of the House, the Senate and the party's overall image. Did you know Ilhan Omar wanted to desexify the M&M mascots? That's on her. <laughs> anyway, um, so they have gone to a representative Representative sample of the many wings of the Democratic Party to uh, to source this article. Uh, for instance, Matt Bennett, listed as the co-founder of the Center Left Third Way, says ah. it's what I had to put that in the description. That, That's unbelievable. Axios called it the Center Left Third Way. It's what we've been screaming about for a year. And uh, Representative Representative Josh Gottheimer. Uh, he says, what I'm hearing at home and what I'm focused on are common sense bipartisan solutions from tackling grocery and gas prices to cutting taxes and fixing our infrastructure to investing in law enforcement and fighting crime. And um, well, you know, they had to uh, to finally get, you know, like a hardcore progressive. So they've got um, Heidi <laughs> Heitkamp. Yeah. Who says uh, <laughs> Democrats are hurting themselves by not speaking up more forcefully against liberal positions that alienate <sighs> rural America? High Camp told AP, "Now the brand is so toxic that people who are Democrats, the ones left, aren't fighting for the party." Yes, yes. It doesn't matter if Biden got the White House campaigning as if he was actually a progressive, and mm -hmm. uh, people were so angry at conservatives that they gave the Dems the House and the Senate too. Oh, what, the only way we can give you the Senate is an unprecedented two Georgia Senate seats? Okay, whatever it takes for you to switch course, no. Forget all that stuff, all those promises, forget every poll about what is popular and what is not. You need to be courting these rural voters who, I will remind you, soundly rejected Heidi Heitkamp camp when she tried to get reelected in North Dakota. But we should be listening to all of them, Jank. So um, this is pure propaganda. The Soviet, the old school Soviets, the current North Koreans would be embarrassed to put out a piece like this. So I'm gonna tell you the biggest sleight of hand that Mike Allen and Axios did here, which is disgraceful. But first, uh, let me just break down a couple of the quotes that John just gave you. Uh, they painted it as it is definitely backfiring. The squad is the so called squad is horrible and has destroyed the Democratic Party. And at the very end, they just say, top Democrats tell us. No, no, no. You made it seem like that was a definitive fact. And then you just did a little adjunct at the end of that sentence top Democrats tell us. Oh, so it's not a fact. <laughs> it's thing as something that was leaked to you by who? Uh, to John's point, a range of Democrats? No, the most conservative Democrats, the most corporate Democrats. Did you clarify that for your audience? No, you purposely concealed that from your audience. You pretended that it was a range of Democrats when in reality, every person you quoted is massively conservative and, and represents almost completely their donors. And I can show it to you on their voting record because I know you don't do research. So now the second thing, center left third way. Third way is a literal pack formed by corporations to capture the Democratic Party. It's funded completely by corporations. The whole point of the pack is to drive the Democratic Party right wing, right wing. Everybody in Washington knows that. Mm -hmm. They don't hide that. And 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 Mike Allen is a I know the guy. He's a senior reporter, Matt, Mike, you don't know the third way is conservative. And you put in their center left to make it appear that it's a range of Democrats who all agree that the left is wrong, even though center left third way mm -hmm. says they're wrong. That is purposeful 
lying and deceit. Forget us progressives, I know you hate us and you wanna smear at us, us at every turn. Don't you care about your readers at all? And the answer is obvious, no, you wanna manipulate them, you wanna brainwash them, you wanna do propaganda in favor of corporate rule, which coincidentally, Mike, is all of your advertisers. Mm -hmm. Giant corporations, drug companies, defense contractors, giant banks, so they thank you in advance. And they did already by giving you millions of dollars to write this trash. And then he also, now comes a sleight of hand. We're gonna get into it more in a second, but he says, this is gonna be a big obstacle to Democrats keeping control of the House and the Senate. But wait a minute, what he talked about were all local issues. And in the article, he focuses on a very local set of elections in San Francisco. Mm-hmm. Wait, 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 those San Francisco City Council issues have nothing to do with the House and the Senate. What the House and the Senate were working on was build back better. So you made it seem like the progressive positions that the House and the Senate are working on are deeply unpopular. So Mike, since you don't do any research, let me do it for you. Are they unpopular? The poll came out, now this is after Republicans, Conservative Democrats and corporate media battered Build Back Better. After they did billions of dollars of propaganda against them. Still, a poll just last month. Uh, let's take a look. First of all, Build Back Better across the country, 62 to 31, still popular. By a two to one margin. What happened? I thought the progressive positions were deeply unpopular, Mike. It almost sounds like you were lying. Okay, now let's break down the issues one by one. Long, ter long term care investments still in the shell of Build Back Better that hasn't passed. Palpable, what's the popularity? 74%. Uh, hearing uh, coverage under Medicare put in there by Bernie Sanders, a progressive position, Radical. undoubtedly polls at 72%. Clean energy and job investments, oh, Green New Deal, we heard from Fox News and corporate media mm. combined together to tell us how unpopular it was. Radical. 62%, Mike. Uh, housing affordability and prevention, 61%, paid family leave, 59%, every single provision over 50%. Incredibly popular. Oh, But there was a city council meeting in San Francisco. You see the sleight of hand? Look here, look here, Oh, I found something unpopular in San Francisco. It represents all progressives and all the things that they were working on in the House and Senate. What, what actually were they working on in the House and Senate? No, shh, shh, don't talk about how popular those are. Then Lockheed Martin won't pay Axios. <laughs> let's get the let's blame wokeism and the wokies and the woke apocalypse <laughs> and other <laughs> ways we can talk about woke and lead in a very serious New York Times op-ed with the word woke or an Axios piece. What's so funny about the San Francisco thing? And I used to live there, right? These are parents who are transplants from Pleasanton, which is a suburb outside of SF, moved to SF during the pandemic. Then they got a bunch of tech millionaires and billionaires to underwrite a recall campaign for three school board members because they at some point in the host of things that they're also doing, like trying to maintain a school in a pandemic, so you know, Kids don't die. By the way, San Francisco, one of the lowest rates of, of COVID transition, highest rates of vaccination in the country. That one of the things they were doing was changing the name of a school. And then oh, all of a sudden, they're, oh, they're wokies. Mind you, it's not an election year, it was a special election, tech money pouring into this. And suddenly, it's oh, it's a harbinger of everything bad to come. As Jenk said, it's utter BS, it has nothing to do with yeah. the national conversation. I'm excited. For the future, when we all get, you know, when um, President Stephen Miller is in office, and the three of us uh, and everyone else at TYT were in the um, press gulag, and uh, all the Axios reporters are like, ah, you just shouldn't have asked for universal childcare. I mean, <laughs> it's really on you guys, and we're gonna be there like. Mother, <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be a good brawl, and you know because this is this is the center playing into the rights corp, uh, corp into the rights culture war at the service of corporations. They're playing into the culture war just as much as the right is, but they're doing it because ultimately they serve the same gods, as Jenk pointed out. So I, I want to give you one more aspect of this absolute trash article. 
Um, they say Democrats are losing in poll after poll nationally in the House. That's true. That's absolutely true. Finally, we found something true in the article. Now, uh, you want to know why? You, and by the way, I stand corrected. Thank you. I made a small error there. Uh, Axios, we actually care about facts. So it was not San Francisco City Council, as I said earlier in this video. It was the school board. Oh, even more important, the San Francisco school board apparently controls the whole country. It's more national. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. How how national? Okay. There's a lot of foreign policy. No. So now, when they ask people, "Hey, what's wrong with the Democratic Party?" Did they say a San Francisco school board, etc. In, in that polling where the Democrats are getting killed? No. Here, I'll give you a specific poll. They asked people, "How much do you think Joe Biden has done for you?" Fifty-six percent of the country, not fifty-six percent of Republicans. 56% of the country, that includes a ton of Democrats and independents, said Joe Biden has done, quote, nothing for us. Nothing. And the argument that Axios is making is progressives made him do too much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, what am I supposed to call that? That's just a lie. That's just a lie. The polling indicates the exact opposite. You didn't do enough. You didn't fight enough and you didn't do your so-called agenda, which Joe Biden never believed in. The only thing he ever said that was true was when he told his beloved donors, nothing will fundamentally change. Congratulations, Joe, nothing fundamentally changed. You got your dream. And guess what? The polling indicates the American people hate you for it. But it's okay, you're gonna use goons like the reporters at Axios to do propaganda for you and you think it's gonna be okay. It's not gonna be okay, the jury's already in. You guys are gonna get slaughtered. And I, that's why a year before the elections, they're already blaming progressives because mm -hmm. they know they're gonna lose because they didn't do anything because yeah. of their goddamn donors. And that's what this piece is about. And that's what corporate media is about. And that's why they're trash and you should never read them. I'm ready to move on from that story, honestly. I think it is not too <laughs> early to start blaming Rashida Tlaib for the Dems losing in 2024. <laughs> I think she should calm down. I think she's ruining it for us, honestly. Yeah. Corey Bush, I'm watching you. You're ruining it. Thanks for watching The Young Turks. I really appreciate it. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all that. All you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video, thank you.